Okay, uh, greatstockpicks.com here. Been, I've been pouring over some charts this evening trying to find a, a free pick to send out. You know, like, hey, here's a trigger. Here's a breakout point if the stock gets to this point. And uh, it's very tough to find stuff like that, especially after a day like today when the market was up so big. Uh, here's the SPY. Um, sorry, I've got some lines on there, but you can see it was down uh, near this lower trend line and then a real big pop today. So... Um, I'm just going to show you a few charts that uh, we'll be watching, a few stocks we'll be watching tomorrow in our chat. Now, RIM, it was getting interesting to me, and I'll show you why that's unfortunate, because I really liked uh, the gap down after earnings and then a couple more days. You haven't broken a previous day's high since it gapped down. This is getting, I mean, RIM was, uh, last February was $70, okay? Um, so in less than a year, it's down to 12 I mean, getting near single digits. And I told everybody, one of these days, we're going to get a really nice bounce, so RIM deserves to be on Bounce Watch. Now, the unfortunate part is, uh, as I go to five, five minute candles and show you the after hours action, um, it's up here at 1380. I just noticed this, just got home uh, a little while ago and noticed that uh, rim spiking on. Don't, I don't even know what the news is. And it'll certainly still be on watch tomorrow, but I was hoping to capture you know, a move like this on an intraday basis for our members and for myself tomorrow. So um, rim will have to fall into a different category of See if we can find a low risk setup as the day unfolds tomorrow. Um, some other charts I'm watching. This one, you kind of have to squint to see it, but it's WFR. Um, it looked pretty good about two weeks ago. Uh, big volume and looked like it was headed higher, like maybe it had bottomed. And then the market got kind of weak and, the, and it sold off, but now it's kind of got a little rounded bottom here and back up over four. This could give a nice uh, swing trade percentage gain, although. I'm not a big fan of holding overnight, but we'll still be watching it for an intraday setup tomorrow. Um, Radio Shack, a different kind of setup, uh, RSH, just a big push down here four or five days in a row and still really not showing a lot of strength even on a strong day today, but that is on bounce watch tomorrow just for an intraday trade. Uh, JEF, big volume pop today. Now, I don't have, a, I can't say, hey, we'll buy this tomorrow if it breaks today's high, 1489. That's not how we trade. Um, however, when you get this kind of nice volume pop, uh, and not a lot of resistance to the left, we will be watching that intraday tomorrow for uh, some of the setups that we teach. Could get a nice follow-through day, and if we can find a low-risk entry, uh, JEF could give us a nice trade. Pepsi PEP, um, you can't see it on this chart, but it did uh, pop above the 200-day moving average um, today and above this base here, and again, not a lot of resistance to the left on Pepsi. Um, so we'll also be stocking that one as a possible long. And then a cheaper stock, BZ. Uh, you can kind of see I have a chart drawn somewhere with trend lines, but if you can picture the trend line here, it kind of broke out today, nice volume, so maybe some follow-through in BZ. Um, and that's my entire list going into tomorrow. Now, we'll find stuff on an intraday basis, on morning gaps and that sort of thing, uh, unusual volume plays, um, stuff like that for our members. Um, but as far as overnight charts, um, I'm going to try to do this more often since it's so hard for me to find free picks to send out based on the daily charts, almost everything we do starts with daily charts, but then we go to the intraday method that we use to find the low risk entries that you see posted on our results page. So um, I'm going to try to at least once a week, maybe more, kind of go over the list of stocks we're watching. And then hopefully uh, tomorrow night I can follow up with a video um, on any of these if we traded them and how we traded them, kind of an after the fact teaching tool. So uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night.